Hi, in this video, we are going to learn about territory management. What is the need of territory management? Why we need to have a territory management in Salesforce? Let's discuss this uh, territory management uh, with the use case. For example, uh, there is a company called ABC Private Limited, which is located in India. So they are manufacturing car accessories and then they are selling the car accessories through their retail store. So they have an uh, industry which manufacturing it and they are selling it. So currently let's imagine they are having their uh, retail store in Karnataka. Okay. So their business is now running only in Karnataka and from there they have set up the retail stores and whoever the customers, uh, uh, you know, belongs to Karnataka, they are selling the, uh, you know, car accessories uh, to them. So this is what their uh, setup model as of now. So the ABC Private Limited feels that the business is going fine and uh, they feel that this is the right time to spread the wings across India. It means that they wanted to sell the car accessories across India. They wanted to set up the retail stores in each and every city so that uh, selling will be uh, pretty easy. And if they are going to set up the sales representatives in each and every state, then, uh, you know, they can easily uh, follow up with the customers. This is their plan. So at the end of the day, if they are going to, uh, you know, set up the retail stores in each and every state of India, then probably at the end of the day, they will have customers all over the India. Now it is their responsibility, right? If that is the case, it is their responsibility to follow up with the customers throughout India efficiently and effectively, right? This is the uh, business uh, plan. So they decided it's time to spread the wings and it is uh, time to uh, sell across India. That's fine. But the problem is the existing system, what they are using as of now. As of now, if you look at the existing system in ABC Private Limited, there is no automation involved. They are keeping an Excel sheet. For example, if there is a customer from a particular state, uh, you know, looking for a car accessories, their information will be recorded in an Excel sheet. Someone manually will record it in the Excel sheet and the sales reps needs to follow up with the customers, right? So now if you have a lot of uh, sales representatives in your company, then ABC Private Limited will need to find a way to assign these customers with these sales representatives, right? Or you can put it in the other way. You need to assign, does ABC Private Limited need to assign a sales rep to follow up with the customers? So currently they, they are doing it manually since they don't have any automation. So because of this manual process, uh, uh, you know, the ABC Private Limited feels that already it is taking uh, quite a lot of time and manpower involved in it. And they are thinking, if we are going to spread the business across India, then how we will manage it? It will be very difficult, right? For example, let me quickly show you, you know, how the data is being managed for your better understanding. For example, this is a spreadsheet which is being used by ABC Private Limited. If you look at the spreadsheet, uh, in the left side, uh, you have the uh, company name or the customer. Okay, whatever you call, that's fine. So in the left-hand side, you have all the customers or company name. And then in the right side, you have the city, for example. And the assigned sales representative is blank because this is, these are all the incoming inquiries, right? These are all the incoming inquiries. All the you know uh, customers' names are being recorded. It is time for ABC Private Limited to assign each and every customer to a particular sales representative, right? So now the problem here is there is a high chances of manual error as well as it takes a lot of time, right? A resource is required. For example, if I want to uh, assign, uh, you know, a sales representative uh, to a company called uh, Fetfish, for example, let's take this. I want to assign a sales representative to Fetfish, then I need to identify the sales representatives in my company. For example, 
the spreadsheet what you are she, uh, seeing now is the list of sales representatives who belongs to different state for example if you look at the state column you have sales representative from tamil nadu goa delhi maharashtra kerala right i cannot assign a person for example if you look at uh, you know uh, a representative called joseph uh, joseph is uh, belongs to tamil nadu i cannot assign for example suppose i need to assign in the sense i need to copy the id of the sales representative i have to go to the second first sheet and i need to paste it here right but the problem is i made a mistake here why i made a mistake because the, if you look at the sales representative this sales representative belongs to tamil nadu i am assigning this sales representative to a company which is located in mumbai it will be very difficult to follow up because they might be set up in person meeting right this sales representative needs to travel all the way down to, you know to mumbai but that's not the case what's the ease of doing the business if i can assign someone i can assign some sales representative from mumbai itself then it's easy to follow up with the customer right because of this uh, you know maintaining this data in the excel sheet abc private limited finding these are the challenges now they understood or they heard that there is a way in in salesforce we can resolve this system so they approached a company called a consultancy called the agst consultancy and they are asking is there any out of the box solution in salesforce because we are going to spread the business across india and we have a plan to implement salesforce is there any out of the box solution exist in salesforce this is a question from abc private limited to effectively effectively manage the uh, sales representative assignments for the customers so the answer from ajst consultancy is yes we have an out of box solution the out of box solution is uh, territory management so let's look at how the territory management works at the high level for example you have the company in uh, maharashtra which is highlighted in red color right maharashtra has uh, some sales representatives assigned some of the sales representative working in mumbai and they will be following with all the customers uh, who are allocated or who are located in maharashtra so customer in the sense in salesforce we will generally call it as an account or you can call it as a record so whenever a record gets created and with the company city located in mumbai or maharashtra now what will happen it is registered in salesforce it is created in salesforce in salesforce if you have already set up a territory management the territory management system is intelligent enough to identify the sales reps who all are associated with this territory or you call it as a, a region or area so the territory management system will automatically identify the sales rep associated uh, with this territory and uh, it will assign this uh, you know customer information with the sales representatives to follow up so in the picture the right hand side you are seeing the territory of maharashtra right so you have three sales representatives associated with them so whenever there is a record gets created inside salesforce automatically territory management system will assign those uh, sales representatives who belongs to that uh, territory or region uh, to these uh, uh, you know sales representatives so territory can be uh, created based on the location based on amount whatever it may be right any field in a record account record can be used to create a territory now because of the introduction of this territory management abc private limited definitely will feel that this is the right time to spread the wings across india the selling can happen smoothly across india and the follow up with the customers will be easy of task now right let's quickly uh, jump to my arg i have already a set up uh, territory management in my arg i will show you how easy it is first i will show you the territory model so there is a territory model already set up uh, in my arg let's consider this is the abc private limited arg and we have a territory called north india and the north india we have a territory called mumbai if you look at this territory this territory uh, is already assigned with two sales representative right so you are able to see that assigned users and this territory also has a rule which is responsible for assigning the customer or account information 
to the respective sales representatives. Let's see this in action. For example, I'm trying to create a company information and let me click next. I'm going to create a company information and let's uh, take the same company name, for example, Fedfish. And this is the company. And uh, to assign this company to a particular sales representative of a region, then definitely you need to give the city. In the city, I'm going to give it as Mumbai. And let me click save. Once I created the customer information or account information, you could able to see in the uh, related list, uh, the sales representatives of this particular territory are automatically assigned, right? These all are the sales representatives definitely will follow up with Fetfish company, right? Similarly, under, under the assigned territories of this account, Fetfish company information, you can see this is assigned, this record is assigned to the territory called Mumbai. Okay, so basically we created a record in Salesforce. Automatically, you know, the territory management system is responsible enough to assign this to the particular territory and assign the users to the territory. Not only with the account, for example, if I'm uh, going to create an opportunity for this company, let me quickly create an opportunity and I'm going to create an opportunity and give the opportunity name as uh, Fetfish. And let's give the, you know, required field. And I'm going to give the close date and stage name prospecting. And I'm going to click save. Now there is an opportunity created. If you go to the opportunity and let's investigate whether this opportunity is also assigned to the territory. And you are able to see this particular opportunity also assigned to a territory called Mumbai. This happened automatically. I haven't selected anything here. Right. So basically, when you create a opportunity under a territory, automatically that uh, uh, opportunity also assigned to the territory and, uh, you, you know, sales representatives of the company uh, can easily uh, now follow up. Right. They, they will be sending a notification about the assignment. All the automations is now possible. Probably this demonstration might have given some, uh, you know, insights in how the territory management will looks like at the end of the day. Right. Okay, now it's time for uh, discussing the advantage. So if you look at the advantage of the territory management, because of the system implemented in Salesforce and we have automated, the product productivity will be definitely improved, right? Automatic customer record sharing with the sales reps for follow-up. Just now we witnessed that, right? Whenever I create a customer information, automatically it is assigned to the users. Uh, you know, there is no manual intervention is required. Improved efficiency in doing business because we, we are saving a lot of time, right? And because of this territory setup, it's easy for, uh, you know, ABC Private Limited to do a forecast, right? To forecast about the region or forecast about the sales representative. It's very very easy to generate and improvise the business. So in this way, territory management system uh, will definitely help your business to automate the uh, customer follow-ups. Hope this video might have given why we need territory management in Salesforce. If you are interested to learn Salesforce, visit AJ Skill Development website. There you can find our course curriculum and you can come to know about the list of courses we are offer we are offering salesforce administrator and salesforce development courses to know about us and the team you can visit our about us section this is an organization we are doing at salesforce training from 2018 and we have trained out and guided 2000 plus candidates so far and if you also want to know about our placement assistance visit our placement assistance section where you can find the list of people and the category you can see the list of people who got uh trained and placed from our site you can also visit their linkedin pages to get to know about our training and also the feedback from the relevant trainees okay and also if you want to do the course inquiry click on contact us you will see the form you can fill the form and submit the inquiry our team will get back to us thank you